With the new Percy Jackson show, Rick Riordan, the author of the books, who is also a writer for the show, promised us easter eggs in the Lotus Casino scene, and I think I discovered one of the biggest but most subtle ones, and that is the addition of Nico and Bianca D'Angelo. We already had a great easter egg in the first episode as Sally Jackson told Gabe that she would stop at his favorite sandwich place called D'Angelo's. On my way home on Sunday, I'm going to stop at D'Angelo's and pick up sandwiches in time for tip-off. But we have an even better easter egg in episode 6. And before I go on, potential spoiler alert for fans who have not read book 3 in the series yet. Before I get into it, let's go over who are Nico and Bianca D'Angelo. Well, they are demigod children of Hades, and just like Percy, they are forbidden children. Well, technically. When the big three brothers, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades made a deal to not birth any more children around the 1930s, Hades realized that he already had two living kids, that being Nico and Bianca. Zeus discovered this, and to ensure that the prophecy did not happen, the prophecy stating that a child of the big three would make a decision to save or destroy the world, he tried to strike the siblings down with his lightning bolts. However, Hades protected his two kids, essentially putting a force field around the siblings. Unfortunately though, he failed to save their mother who was also in the room. With their mother gone, Hades called in Electo. Yes, the same fury that attacked Percy in the first episode, and he had Electo take Nico and Bianca to the River Lethe, which when they bathed in it, it wiped their memories. Electo then took them to the Lotus Casino where they would not age and would lose all concept of time. This then brings us to episode 6 of the Percy Jackson series, where first, as Grover is talking to Augustus, you can hear Nico yell out for his older sister Bianca. Seems like it seems then, if you look behind Grover at the VR, you can see a boy and a girl both wearing the same shorts. If you look closely, the girl pulls out an arrow and draws her bow. Bianca was of course known to have a bow and arrow when she became a hunter of Artemis. That was her weapon of choice. So it makes sense that she was doing that in the VR game. And of course, it only makes sense that the boy next to her with the same shorts is Nico, as he always followed his sister around and did whatever she did. So naturally, he would do the VR with her. Also, he loves all sorts of games like Mytho Magic, so he would of course love a VR game as well. That's what I found and that's what I wanted to point out in this video, but I've seen other people say that other kids could be Nico and Bianca, like these two kids who are walking past the entrance, or these two kids in the middle of the racing game, but I think that the ones that I pointed out are the ones that Rick Riordan intended us to see and hear. Let me know what you think in the comments below though. Did you spot what I spotted? Did you spot something else? I'm excited to hear your thoughts. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I've been covering every Percy Jackson episode in depth week by week, so there's plenty of Percy Jackson content to watch on the channel. That's all for now though, so I'll see you guys in the next video.